here we go. Why is it every like few months I'm sitting in this chair and moaning about something on Netflix involving vampires? Why can they not get this right? Someone explain it to me. Day shift. This is a brand new vampire movie on Netflix. It's two hours long and it is very much rated M. And the basic story with, of course, zero spoilers. Jamie Foxx, his day job, he's cleaning pools, man. He's living the traditional like, worker's life, except it's all BS, bruv. It's a front. He's actually a vampire hunter. And get this, he's taking the teeth and he's selling them for money. How sick is this? This kind of like John Wick underworld vampire thing? Amazing, except... It's really bad. The story, like the blueprint could have been so good. This whole like vampire hunter undercover thing. He's breaking into vampires houses in like the daytime and fighting them. How sick is that? Nicking their teeth, bruv. And it goes down. Mega down. First of all, the characters, Jamie Foxx, He's Jamie Foxx, bruv. I mean, he's actually one of my favourite actors ever, man. He's in some of my favourite films of all time. He's Jamie Foxx in this movie. That is it, bruv. I I'm down for that. Except everything else around it was really kind of bad, man. First of all, the marketing for this movie, bro. If you saw the trailer, I'd done a reaction to it. You see Snoop Dogg in it. My guy's in it for 10 minutes. Sorry to say, for a two-hour movie, he is not the second main character. Like it says on Google, what is going on? I'll be fair, before I, like, really go into the negatives, the vampire stuff was actually kind Kind of cool. There's different like levels and you know it's got that traditional thing, the elders are like the most powerful ones, respected. I really like that. There's even like sub categories for the vampires. I really like that man. You're gonna set up all this stuff in a two hour movie which this could have easily been a show and they've done it pretty good. I'll be honest. It's very much your traditional vampire which I do like. You know the sunlight, garlic bro, steak in the heart, you get it. There is some really cool and unique action scenes revolving around it. For example, it is not a spoiler, it's right at the start. Jamie Foxx is fighting a vampire and in the reflection you can see it looks like he's just fighting like some floating clothes because obviously they've got no reflection. Those things were really, really good. Also, the kills in this movie, damn. I'm a massive fan of Blade, and there's some kills in here that would rival Blade's kills, genuinely. It, it, the kills and the gore, very, very sick. But now, let's go to the negative zone. I don't even know where to start. So first of all, he has a family in here, you know, wife and kid. He's doing it all for them. You've seen it a hundred times before. And obviously they don't know he's hunting vampires and all this stuff, lovey dovey with the daughter and all this. It does not go well with this movie at all, bro. The only way this could have worked, I don't actually, I don't know, actually how. know how. I'm, I'm baffled I'm myself. Bad. I actually don't even know how they would have made this work. The family stuff, dead, bro. Absolutely dead. The comedy in here, <gasps> some of the worst lines of like, Comedy dialogue, however you want to call it, bro. One-liners, just so bad, bruv. So, so bad. Do not tell me you can watch this movie and you're laughing, bro. You, you find it everything funny. You are capping hard, bruv. There is so much bad comedy in here. Just bad dialogue in general. It, it blows my goddamn mind. Like, this is rated M. Maybe take a more serious approach, man. I mean, Lee, he's... The way he's moving, bruv, is that he's invincible. Some of these one-liners, it is so bad. You're not going to understand unless you see it. There's also one character. Oh, my effing God. They could be... I'm not going to say who. Trust me, you'll know immediately. They are one of the most insufferable characters I have ever seen on any screen ever. In fact, in fact, for this year, 2022, they're probably my pick for the worst character in any movie or show it is really that bad i swear down every time they were on screen i was getting annoyed bro as you could tell i'm not sugarcoated it i did not like this movie man vampires and the xenomorph are my favorite movie creatures of all time when i see something bad i have to call it out bruv i was very gassed for the trailer this movie let me down so bad and i'm gonna give day shift Four nerds out of ten. Five out of ten for your boy is dead average, which means I will not, like, watch it probably ever again. I did love it, I didn't hate it. I did not like this movie. I definitely will never watch this again. I'm just saying it right now. Ladies and gentlemen, that's it. I wish I could come on camera this morning and praise this as a vampire legendary movie, but it is so goddamn bad. Just, it's basically Blade with all the good stuff taken out. Adding Jamie Foxx in, I, I don't want to cap, I really like Jamie Foxx. Even in this movie, he was great. 
but it's just dunked, bro, over and over in diarrhea, and then it's on the screen. Ladies and gentlemen, sorry about it, but I'm just keeping it real. Thanks for watching, guys. Peace.